Okay, hello. This is the next part of my makeup collection and inventory video. It is part one of nail polishes. Um, so I have these two little things. I got these at TJ Maxx. I think they're like four or five bucks each. Um, so this first one is just regular polishes that I love that I want to keep. And the second one is all my deep dark reds and a tiny bit of overflow because I ran out of room in this one. So I'm going to start in this one. This is Wet n Wild. I cannot pronounce this. It's dull. It's it's the sound Homer Simpson makes. I can't pronounce it for anything. Hey. Don't do that. You scare me half to death. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Nail Polish from their Spring Collection in Layout in Lavender. Um, my favorite color is purple, if you haven't noticed. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Salon nail color from their summer collection in Wild Wild Violet. Um, this is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Candy Gloss Nail Tint from their, I think it was a pop art collection they had over the summer in one grape or another. It looks really dark, but it's actually really, really sheer. This I love. It's a deep, deep purple. It's these sinful colors with gel tech nail polish in the color. Nouveau Purple. Um, so then these next four are from the Young Wild and Polish collab with Glisten and Glow. This one is in Dukeberry. That's probably my favorite. I'm not really into gray nail polishes. This one's OG Snowman. This one is Frosty Camel. And this one is Topaz's Cabin. And then this one was from a subscription box, actually. It's the Absolute New York Nail Lacquer in turquoise, but it's pronounced like, it's spelled like turquoise, because it's got an extra U or something. I don't know. This is the Wet n Wild Fast Dry Nail Color. Uh, I got this partly because it's purple, but partly because the name. I mean, Buffy the Violet Slayer. Yes. Um, this one is Essie in Aim to Misbehave. Okay, I find this one funny because I wanted to get this one because it's like their hello husband. It's like their Thousands Nail Polish or whatever, but I didn't know the name, so I was looking for it on Ulta's website, and I found this one called Aim to Misbehave, and I'm like, well, I can't find the one I want. I'll get that one, because it's a Firefly reference, and it ended up being the same one, so I love this one for the color, that it's the Thousands Nail Polish, and its name happens to be a Firefly reference. Uh, this is a MAC one from their Star Trek collection recently, and it is in the color Enterprise. Alex has gone on an entire rant about how this should not just be called Enterprise, it should be called, like, something, some other word, or in a, a certain Enterprise or something. I think it's a pretty silver. I'm not as big of a Trekkie as he is, so. This is Essie in Playing Koi. And we've got, this is from Halloween, it's Pure Ice. It's got like little bat glitters, or it's supposed to, and it's called Witch and Famous. I use this, and I was really good about getting glitters all over all ten of my nails, and I got two bats, so I was not happy. Um, I've got a couple nail polishes that don't seem to be here, so maybe they're in with the rest of mine. So this is the second one. This was originally like all my dark, deep reds, but it's got a tiny bit of overflow. Um, apparently just this one because a couple of my nail polishes have vanished. Oh well. So this is Essie in Wicked. We've got Essie in Bordeaux. I really do like Essie formula. And I am so sad that they're discontinuing Formula X. Um, this one is in Ignite. I really like this. I really like that uh, Formula X ones in general. This is China Glaze in um, Ravishing Darling. This is actually a wedding present from my cousin. This is Flower Beauty in, I think it's Venus Flytrap. Uh, this is Wet Seal Gel Effect in Bordeaux. Oops. This is actually from Forever 21 in the color Wine. Used to, I couldn't find this color nail polish anywhere, and now it's like everywhere. This is the Wet n Wild One Step Wonder Gel in Left Marooned. This is the Wet n Wild Wild Shine in 
Burgundy Frost. There we go. Uh, this is Essie in Velvet Voyage. Uh, this one was an overflow. It's the OPI in Lincoln Park After Dark. I've got an Essie. Oh, yeah, here's my other overflow. Essie in Kimono Over. And then this is my most recent nail polish purchase. It's Formula X in Obsessed. Um, it's actually what's on my nails right now. Like I said, I'm really sad Formula X is being discontinued because I really like these polishes. But that's all for this part of my inventory collection kind of thing. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys next time. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye.